Hello everyone, this is Michael Cheek again from Mike's Guitar Lessons, and uh, this is the second video for ACDC's Let Me Put My Love Into You. Now, in the first video we learned the intro to the song and what she used a lot um, during most of the verses, this section here. Okay, now, um, we also have another part in the intro that's pretty much the same as that, but it's up higher. It happens about 28, 29 seconds into the song. And it's basically the same thing as this, but it's higher. So I wanted to show you guys that so you didn't leave, have any parts left out. If you have somebody else who can play, if you're playing this song, you have somebody else with a guitar too, they can take this high part. Um, and the song, so it's about, again, it's about 28 seconds into the song, and it's going to sound like this. Now it's basically the same thing, but I want to go ahead and show it to you real quick, and then uh, we'll go into the next part. So um, we're going to start with your first finger on the 12th fret of the G string, okay, and your third finger on the 14th fret of the D string, okay. Just those two notes. This looks just like the one that's lower that we already played. You're going to play both of those notes. Remember, it's just those two notes: D and A. Uh, sorry, D and G string, okay. So you're going to play that, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, that's right, I was just getting it straight in my head. You're going to play that, then you're going to take your first finger move it down to the 11th fret on the G string, and the 12th fret on the A string with your middle finger, play that, then back up to a, a 12th fret on the G string, and 14th fret on the D string. Okay, so... And since we're already to kind of the louder part here where they're using the open E's, you can go ahead and play the open E there, the thick string open E. So you're going to go and then do it again. And just like the other one, we're going to copy it again. So you do your first chord, 12 and 14. Or you do it three times, right? So you're going to go... Go back down to 11 on the G string, 12 on the D string, play that chord, and then an open E, and then up to your high chord, which is going to be 14th fret on the G string and the D string. If you played the first riff, then you kind of know where this is going already. So that's the riff. So if I play it slowly, it's going to look like this. And that happens, uh, again, about 28 seconds into the song. Um, right here, I'll play along with it. And then he starts singing right there. So he kind of goes back to, uh, or the guitar parts kind of go back to one part, and he kind of mellows out the distortion a little bit. You can turn your volume down a little bit and go back into this one. What happens there is you stop playing that open E, you back off on the volume a little bit, and that'll take a little bit of your distortion off of the sound if uh, you've got distortion on there to begin with. So when he starts singing, you kind of just back off it a little bit. Okay, and then he uh, it kind of gets bigger and and uh, louder. And the open E comes back into the uh, song again. I'll just kind of let it play through and play along. You'll see where the open E comes in. Here it comes right here.
We're at a minute 15 into the song. There's a new riff that comes in right here. And uh, it's going to sound like this. I'll just play it on the guitar real quick so you can see it. But it's really two guitar parts, but I'm kind of going to put them into one because most of you are going to be playing by yourselves. Uh, if you have a friend that plays, you can divide these parts up. But you have to cheat it a little bit if you're playing it together. Now, basically, you have a riff and then a power chord that comes in. So it's going to sound like this. Let me go full speed, I guess. It's the E first. Okay, so it's going to go... And then you go into the chorus, okay? And that happens right here. I'll let you listen to it. See? I'll play with it again. And obviously there's the chorus right there. So, let me show you that riff real quick. And uh, it's basically two different parts, and then you repeat the whole thing. So. Um, the first part are the single notes that come in. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, so what we're doing, I use my middle and my third finger. You can use your first and your middle or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But um, you're going to start with an open on the G string. That's this third string from the bottom. Okay, you're going to play that and then hammer on the second fret of the G string. Remember, a hammer on is where. I'm going to pluck the string for the first note, but the second note is just going to be my finger coming down hard enough to make that note come out and not plucking again with my right hand. So it's going to be... Okay, let me get a little closer so you can see that good. Okay, now the second hammer-on you're going to do... So you, you play open on the G and hammer on the second fret. Then you're going to play open on the B string and hammer on the third fret of the B string. And then you're going to pull off. Okay, so. Okay, so after you play that pull off, then you're going to play open G again and hammer on the second fret. Okay, so it's. So you play that one time, and then you're going to play an E power chord, which is this, is, this is the other part that comes in. You have to miss the very first strum because you're playing this riff, but um, it's going to sound better if you can play both parts on one guitar. So um, the E power chord is going to be open on the E string and second fret on the A string. And I use my first finger to play that note. Okay, so open on the E. Second fret on the A string. And you're going to play this rhythm. And you stop that chord. So you strum it three times. So it's going to be. Okay, one more time. Then you're going to go to the next one. Now, basically, the next one is the same, except um, you've got a different power chord that comes after it. So you're going to play these hammer-ons the same way. Open on the G string, hammer second fret. Then open on the B string, hammer third fret, pull off to open. Then open on the G string, hammer second fret. You can see that's just like we uh, the last one we played. So then you're going to play an A power chord. Now what that is is open on the A string and second fret on the D string. I use my first string for that. So A string, D string. And I'm muting this thick E string so I don't accidentally hit it with, uh, with my pick. I mute it with my thumb. Okay, so you're going to play that chord the same way, three times and then stop it. Okay? Then I go back and I play the uh, first one and then back to this one. So the whole thing together is going to be like this. Then I do all that again. Okay, now, one thing I do um, when I uh, play that last A power chord, 
like is we keep it going a little bit longer because we're going into uh, the chorus. Okay, so um, we actually kind of play play it like this. I have a couple more strums that I add to it. Okay, so I'm going to take this back to about a minute 13, and I'm going to play along with it. Then you can uh, see how I, um, I go into the course. Okay, so here it is, full speed. So here it comes. And I didn't play the chorus there. Um, I'm going to save the chorus for the next video. So this had all the transitional stuff from the intro and the verse into the chorus. Next video will start right on the chorus. And um, it's not that um, long of a video that I'm going to have to make. I just didn't want to put it on the end of this video. Okay. So um, again, practice everything slow and then try to go full speed with it. That will keep you clean. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck. And, uh...